the world famous clown that there? The world famous clown motel. What is this? Let's see it for the street. There it fucking is. Driving past that weird Wayne. Oh, look. Can we go in there? Can we fuck? There it is. No, we cannot. No. No. Even before it... Nacon has ever... Went like, oh look, a clown! There's a funny clown coming up to me. Nabdy. Bikers welcome. Secured parking. Oh, look, there's a clown coming up to speak to me. <laughs> Welcome to World Famous Clown Motel office. I'd be fucking terrified going in there. Like, do you think they're dressed as clowns? Like the, the staff? Imagine you went in and there's one like that. Like that. With the mouth open. The mouth... By default, like that, it only closes when they're speaking, and then they go back to their mouth being wide open like that. Clown Museum. This could be worse than Psycho. Worse than Psycho. Having a shower, shower curtain gets pulled back, and there's a fucking clown. There's a clown. Imagine that. A clown that, where well, you're having a fucking shower. A clown with a big fucking knife. Or, or no knife. I think I've seen a clown standing there without a knife would be fucking scarier. Because at least, at least if they've got a knife, you know, oh, I'm getting stabbed to death, right? But without a knife, you'd be like, what, what's going to fucking happen? Why are they here? It'd be a relief to see a knife. Right, let's fucking see some pictures here. If I stayed in it, I would be relieved to have a shower and then see a clown appear with a knife. Because I'd be like, good, that's it, I'm done with. Because I was worried. Sometimes the worrying about something could be worse than the actual thing happening. I wouldn't have slept a fucking wink of sleep the night anyway. Right, let's check it out. Right, so I'd have to, I have to close that, then click on that, and here we fucking go. There it is. <gasps> Look at this! Is it meant to be fucking terrifying? What is that? Is that a clown lorry? Can I? That's it. That's the, that's the, the, the shower. That's in the, that's where the, the toilet, the shower is. They're tiles. You'd be fucking daft. It, it's so obvious. You'd be thinking, oh, it's a kind of, it's a bluff. They're bluffing. It's a bluff. I mean, they wouldn't actually kill you. I mean, they're making it so obvious. Well, what do you fucking think? I'll try, I'll try to spell out for you so we don't get done legally.
No reviews. They're all, no, they're all. Reviews. What's that? What's that behind the back? Look, this th this statue. That horn's up, right? That horn's behind the back. On you go. Aye, right in, right in. Right in there. Aye. Uh-huh. Just in there. Uh-huh. No, no. What? Come on, go, go. Go. In you go. Have a nice sleep. Fresh, why don't you freshen up a wee shower before you go to sleep? You've had a long drive. Here you go, here's the key to room number one. Nice and convenient, right next to the office. Right. Yeah. Fucking hell. And then a graveyard. Where's, what's this got to do with, um, the clown motel? Is this the fucking clown motel? Are they, are they, are they saying this, a graveyard's a kind of clown motel because there are clowns? There are clowns because they're dead. What, what, what's the fucking, gra what's with the graveyard? Wait a minute. Tracy, right, Tracy was there. And this is another person, Kylie, uh, and then Dawn, right? So it's not like the, there's one person who is when I'm, I'll post my nearby graveyard pictures to the clown motel because that's where I was staying uh, before I went to the other one. So it's kind of connecting some way. No, these are different people. So this must be right next to it. Look. And there we go. Right, this is obviously. It's obviously. It, it, it's less. It's less scary now. It's not as creepy now. Because it's made obviously scary. Good picture. Very good picture. Very very good picture. Clean, smart, decent room. I'd fi fix that um, lampshade though. There we are. There's a joker. That dodgy picture there, man. Starts that just jumps up, starts running a bit. That's like that. Uh, that looks just like that place that I was looking at earlier with the the mess next to the mess. Oh, here we go. Right, what's that there? You can, a bit of food. That'd be nice, that. Just sitting there. Watching the sun going down. Hey, how's it going? 
hello. Hey, what's your accent? I'm Scottish. Scot Scottish Scotland. I'm from Scotland. Oh, you're Scotch. Hey. What are you doing an hour here? I've came over for a holiday. Um, I saw this place on on Google. On Google. I saw this place on Google and I thought I wanted to come over here and have a look at it. You know, you speak pretty good English. Well, we speak English in, in Scotland. Perhaps one of the reasons why we're not often understood is because of our accent while speaking English. So, do you guys wear kilts over there? Ha ha ha. Not really. We only really wear kilts for... big social events, uh, usually weddings. Really, I would say that it, 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 it is only weddings that we wear kilts, and even then, not many people wear them. It's really just a bit of dressing up. So is it true to say no true Scotsman uh, wears uh, underwear under the kilt? What's that? I didn't hear that there. The bit at the end. Was it something to do with not wearing something under the kilt? So can I ask you, uh, you know about a political situation over here, prisoners and so on. Uh, what do you make of Trump? I would like to go to my room now to sleep. What do you make of old 45? I would like to go away now to, to my bedroom. That's not an invitation. There you go, there's a clown. That was a fucking soldier. I thought that was um, like a big kind of soldier statue thing. You know, like wearing that sort of... Um, like desert sort of camouflage, but a bit sort of grey yellow. Uh, excuse me. Secure parking. Do you want to move it? This is, I think this is a bikers, but maybe. There it is. Right. Let's get some of these fucking reviews read. Wait a minute. What's that? Let's get some of these reviews. Looks all right. What's with the fucking graveyard? All right. Right. Let's get the re let's check the reviews. It reviews. Uh, where's the stars? Why has it just got, like, numbers? Why has it got numbers instead of stars? Why has it changed to that? Let me look at the map now. Right, there's the map. Velo, what am I looking for? Cemetery next door. No, I assumed that. Are we done here? There's your answer. To what? And I know. Thanks, fellow. You were asking? No, nah, I don't think I was. Why the cemetery? Aye, that was about ten minutes ago. I kind of, I kind of got the idea that it must, must be right next to it, or close to it. I deduced it by the fact that three different people were showing pictures of the graveyard. 
instead of one person mistakenly putting their graveyard pictures in the Clown Motel review. Um, there's a book by a guy called Chris Sibelia about spending 30 days in, the, in this Clown Motel. Heard about it on uh, uh, the best show, Namkia, Chris Go. Is it that? Is this? I mean, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard of that, but um, anybody know about that? Some of you sound like you've actually heard it. Is it that? Is it that? Right, so here we go. Five out of five. Recently stayed at the world famous Clown Motel and have mixed feelings about my experience. Uh, five out of five, though. On the one hand, the proximity to the cemetery was a bit unsettling. Unsettling fucking Clown Motel! And added to the overall creepy vibe of the place. Right. However, despite my initial reservations, I found the motel to be very clean and well-maintained. The owner was also quite friendly and accommodating, which made the stay more pleasant. I don't know what you're on about. What do you think this is? Have you ever seen the fucking pictures of, like, clown masks with teeth in that Michael Myers at the fucking shower? Mm, it's a wee bit unsettling. Mm, added to the overall creepy vibe of the place. What do you mean, however? It would be a however if you're saying, unfortunately, uh, the owner was quite friendly and accommodating, which sort of took away from the creepiness, unfortunately. Gift shop, right. It's worth a drive. You're looking for a quirky and offbeat place to stay. Just be prepared for the spooky location and keep an open mind. Oh, kinky. Five out of five. One out of five. Oh, here we go. My girlfriend and I recently spent the night here. The museum was cool, but that's where the positives end. Everybody, it's downhill for now on, right? Right, so my girlfriend and I recently spent the night here. Spent the night here. The museum was cool, and that's where the positives end. So remember, everybody, I'm letting you make an informed decision about, you know, what's about to come here is possibly... all uh, uh, The indications are... We're going to get a negative, some negative comments about the the motel, right? So if you're not up for that, right? So this is your chance to walk away, right? This is your chance to walk away, right? Okay. The owner ignored us for a couple minutes while we waited to check in, right? So that's just it. That's a wee taster of the negativity that's to come. Right? So I'm giving you another wee moment to leave. And let's go. Once we got to our room, you could tell it was recently renovated. That's in quotes because the work is very shoddy. I don't know if you know, but see normally when you stick something in quotes, even if the person didn't actually say that, I'm not directly quoting them. It's like, you know, oh, right, oh, you call this renovated. The word re renovated was mentioned somewhere. That's in quotes because the work is very shoddy. I'm being sarcastic, kind of. It's, it's sort of like sarcasm. The door looked like it was forced open with a screwdriver. Oh, for fuck's sake, you don't want that in that place. And there was a decent gap between the door and the jam. I thought it was going to say something to do with jam. The the door looked like it had previously been opened with a screwdriver and there, had, there was some red strawberry jam there as well that had dried in. A big fucking strawberry jam handprint on, on the, uh, in the toilet. The counter where the sink was still had a peanut on it from a previous guest. Peanut allergy murders. The shower had a hole in the ceiling where it looks like there was water damage. A hole in the ceiling. Camera. That's a joke, by the way. Don't sue me. It's just a joke. It's not just a joke. Uh, to the motel lot. That's just a joke. Just a wee joke. I would love to visit the motel. The shower had a hole in the ceiling where it looks like there was water damage along with dripping water at the time. That's the shower, you daft cunt! 
The holes in the wall for the pipe to come through. How's it meant to come through? It's called a shower. <laughs> Thinks there's a fucking leak. It's a shower. That's what a shower is. Uh, water damage along with dripping water all the time. Hopefully you don't want to take a shower because after five minutes of running the hot water, there still wasn't any. Ah, uh, you see, you're not, you're, you're not constructing your sentences properly. After five minutes of running the hot water, there still wasn't any. Oh, right. I'm sorry. But you just said the hot water was running. And then you're saying there still wasn't any like you'd said previously that there wasn't any. And no, there still wasn't any. But you just said there was hot water. I meant, I meant run, you know, I turned the hot water tap on. You said that there was running hot water. No, I meant I attempted to run the hot water. That's not what you said, son. Mr. Stonefelt. Alex Stonefelt. That's not what you said, Mr. Stonefelt. As for the bed, that was covered in stains and hair. So sorry that you hate people, Alex. Sorry that you hate people. Did you know that there's people walking about all the time with hair? Did you know that? There's hair everywhere. I did a thorough search for bed bugs, but didn't find any. Well, well, how about that then? Because every fucking mattress has got at least a million uh, uh, bed bugs and things like that. You know, mites. Even ones that are brand fucking used right out the factory. A million like that. And so you went, you searched for them and you can't see any. That's like fucking... That's like a um, silicon chip sort of factory kind of click. That's like um, silicon chip lab. Like that. That's like that there. I thorough search for bed bugs, but didn't find any. Actually, Dana, a thorough search for bed bugs, eh? There's no pleasing people like that. The walls are very thin, so you hear everything your neighbours do, along with the truck traffic all night long. I feel that the room was way overpriced for what you actually get. Right, Alex Stonefelt. You've got... You, you've... Stone felt, I because your feelings, you got a heart of stone. Do you know what I mean, everybody? F felt, stone felt, feelings, stone, heart of stone. Because you don't like people, don't you know? You don't like hearing them. You don't like seeing them. You don't like their hair. But is this actually a complaint? I did a thorough search for bed bugs, but didn't find any. Do you actually want bed bugs because they're the only sort of creatures that you actually like? And any fucking remnants of humans, any reminders that there's humans on this fucking planet, do you nothing? Drive you fucking mental. You can hear your neighbours, you can hear them driving outside. There was some hair. There was a peanut. For a previous guest reminding me that they need to eat using their stinking mouths. You're in a fucking clown motel, Alex. Not the Ritz. Let's see. I spent a fortune. Went in a nice, nice hotel. Nice wee holiday. Terrible hotel. Where'd you go? Uh, the world famous Clown Motel in Tornopo, Tornopo, uh, Nevada. Hmm? All right, I right enough. Fuck me, they can cunts can fucking see in your room. Aye, that's bad. That that needs to get sorted out. 
I used to get sorted at that. That is bad. What's this then? Oh, this is the peanut. Ah, this is the peanut, everybody. Just in case you didn't believe him. There it is. Because cause when I'd read that story, I was like, fucking bullshit. No way. How do we know he didn't put that there? Ah, uh, he, he could have planted it. Uh, I don't know. Just seems too perfect. What about that? Got, no, got a complaint about that? Alex, about that there? No, got a wee, um, no, got a complaint about that? About that? I mean, what happened there? Looks like they tried to put the nail in and maybe uh, put a screw in and they scraped that paint off. No, got a wee complaint about that? No? Just the peanut. Room was overpriced. All oh, right. So that's the hole. Right. Right. That's the hole, everybody. Um, right. So I was picturing some sort of hole in the ceiling that's a wee bit kind of scary. You're like, oh, wait a minute. What's, what's behind the hole? That's not a hole. That's not a hole. That's, that's, uh, that's a, that's a tear. That's not a hole. I'm going to say that's a hole. That's uh, it's just something up with the paint. Nice picture. Is this a good one? I don't know if this is meant to be... So I kind of spot the difference. Or it's a... Can you see what is wrong in this picture? Is uh, the shower... The shower's... Is it... That there? It is not no, but that, that I know. Is it these kind of scratches? No. Um, the fuck is that? What's that? Is that is that just a tap for the bath? What is that? What's this thing that comes? Is that the tap? Then what's this? Oh, I see it. I can see it. Is that right? This is a tap, right? That is not connected to that. Is that right? Is this part of the bath? What is this? Right, that's um. Right, I see it. What is it, Alex? What is it? What's your point here? With this one? Oh, for fuck's sake! What what is it, Alex? I'm definitely going to look at more reviews, but Alex, uh, what's his name again? Stonefelt. Because if he's fucking see any place that gets five stars, five out of five by Alex Stonefelt, I want to fucking go there. What is it? Is it that? Is it there's there's uh, or they had nails in there and then they decided that actually we don't need the nails in there and took them out. Is it that there? Is it that? Is it? This feels like a fucking puzzle game. I feel like I'm playing one of these games that you're all saying in the chat and I'm like, no, 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 don't tell me. I'm not looking at the chat everybody because I know you're just going to spoil the game for me. Um, it's the um. The only thing I can imagine is I escape simulator. The only thing I can imagine is it's that. I mean, is it that? Oh my god, he's blind, he can't see. What 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 is it? Is it this here? Yes, it's the blue thing. How? That's that belongs to them though. Where does it say it belongs to them? I just assumed. But why is it at the right of the picture? That's the sort of thing con blind, that's the sort of thing I fucking argue we use about. What's up with it? Right, stop, stop, right. Blank the mind. Everybody, what is actually up with that? 
considering this is the world famous clown motel. Is this the hair? Is this wait a minute, wait a minute? Um No, the bed was covered in stains in here. It's a bit ugly. Is that it? Is that because this wallpaper or whatever it is is the very nice the focus seems to be here. No the grin. Or oh, that there. Fuck me, what what's up with it? That is the paintwork a bit like oh look. That could be done better, but that needs a bit of sandpaper error and then paint it again. No, 